Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, The Town Watch. My name is Josh Town. Thank you for stopping by today. In this video, we have a special unboxing from a company called Bernhard H. Mayer. And the watch that we're going to be looking at briefly today and unboxing and sharing my first impressions about is an anniversary watch. So this whole watch came to me by way of the company and it came in two boxes you can see there's this uh, thin rectangular box here which will open first in a moment and then the watch came in this other box right there now the company did reach out to me and they actually gifted this watch to me so i'm very thankful for that and i thank them for doing that um, but as always in all of my videos whether i receive a watch for free or i buy a watch or a watch is loaned in any opinions that I have about the actual watch are my own opinions and the company has no say in any of my thoughts or any of the things that I say in this video or in a full review video. So just keep that in mind, but uh, very nice packaging uh, for this 150 year anniversary watch from Bernhard H. Mayer. I don't know too much about the company, but obviously they've been a around for quite some time. Uh, I think they might have been uh, bought out at some point in the recent past. They might have died off for a while, and then they might have been revived, but I'll try and get more of that information uh, in the full review video, and maybe we can find some more of that information in this little booklet that comes here. So nice presentation of everything, a little booklet. Um, there's the special rose gold edition uh, for their anniversary. Here's some information about the company. So I'll try and share some of that in the full review. But this is the watch we're going to be looking at today, which is the stainless steel edition limited to 1871 pieces. And that's what we're going to unbox today. Uh, they give you a little cheap watch toolkit in here i've already looked at it we've seen these hundreds of times but uh, uh, you get one of those right there nicely packaged i think the packaging might be uh, better quality than the tool itself <laughs> and then you get uh, a little watch care kit right here and this just has some cloths in it if i can pull it out here and We'll see that, so nice branded microfiber cloth, a large one. And then, oh yeah, it's not another cloth, but they're actually black gloves. So uh, very nice touch there in this little box. All right, so we'll set that box aside. I'll set it back here again. And now we'll open up the actual watch. Now again, this is just an unboxing video, so we'll get the dimensions and we'll uh, look at the piece initially, but do stay tuned for a full review video in the future of this watch. Sent a nice handwritten note, so that's always a plus in my book. And then here's the, the box. Uh, has this inner wooden box right here and I am really impressed at the the packaging and the detail that is just even on this box uh, they have this building here that is actually engraved into the box so very very nice a polished uh, uh, piece right here very nice presentation box so let's pop it open and see what we have here looks really nice so you get some stuff over here. Another cloth is in this. Uh, you get the certificate of authenticity and the information about the watch. This one is 162 out of 1871. Uh, so very nice there. And you get another little booklet down in here as well, the user manual. So really nice presentation, but here is the watch itself the stainless steel version of this 150th anniversary piece as the camera tries to get focused there. So there it is. My first impressions when I first saw this watch, 
when I unboxed it uh, when it first came in the other day uh, I was struck by the the nice blue color of this dial it's a nice sunburst dial and I like the case shape of this watch as well it's uh, definitely a larger watch I don't know if you can tell that by looking at it right here on this pillow um, but we'll get some measurements here in a moment so here it is off of the pillow uh, let me know what you guys think of this piece I'm gonna wind it up here non screw down crown I believe they're using a Solita SW200 in this version of this watch and so you can see it in the open case back that is right here and they have a engraved rotor going on so unique case shape for sure and I like the looks of it um, it's not often that you see like a, a little medallion on a dial like this um, but I, I don't think it looks too bad and uh, it's celebrating uh, the anniversary again there you can see the date 1871 and 2021 right there on that little silver colored medallion so nice looking dial I do like the looks of it but let's get some measurements I know this is a big piece as far as the dimensions go so let's see what we're working with here so well not as big as I thought we got 43.2 I thought it'd be closer to uh, 44 or so but uh, little over 43 millimeters case diameter as I'm measuring it case thickness is not too bad at 11.1 so quite thin for the size of this watch and we get a lug tip to lug tip distance over 50 millimeters 50.8 get a lug opening of let's see gotta get that 22 millimeters so those are the quick dimensions uh, strap does it taper down much tapers down a couple millimeters there and you get this nice butterfly deployant buckle that comes on this strap so I always like to have a buckle with the strap if possible and it is signed there with the Bernard Bernhard H. Mayer uh, logo so interesting piece uh, I like the dial again I like the design of the case but I want to hear what you guys think of this watch what are your initial thoughts and impressions of this piece right out of the box uh, please share your comments down below uh, let me do a wrist shot I'm wearing my citizen ProMaster tough right now so I'll take that off and I'll put this on the wrist all right, so there it is on my six and a half inch wrist, a little over 43 millimeter case diameter, and the lug to lug is over 50 millimeters. I do like to stay under 50 for my smaller wrist if possible. It seems like there is a little hangover for me with those lugs, so I don't usually like that personally, um, but it's not a bad looking watch and it's quite thin for what it is really at you know a little over 11 millimeters so not too bad let's check the loom well I got tricked with the loom there is none I thought these white portions on these sword style hands um, might possibly be loom but I was mistaken on that there is no loom on this watch so uh, that is to be expected you know you don't expect loom on a more dressy piece but uh, sometimes companies put it on but no loom here so you can make note of that again guys what do you think about this watch uh, what are your first thoughts and impressions I think the finishing looks really nice you get some brushing and some polishing surfaces some chamfered edges here that are nicely polished and uh, overall seems like a quality piece the presentation out of the box is really nice I'll put the price uh, MSRP what these are selling for and I'll leave links down in the description below if you're interested in a piece like this but please share your thoughts below and do stay tuned for a full review in the future 
as I spend some more time with this watch. So get locked in, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. And if you liked this video, please let us know by hitting that like button. It really helps out. Thank you for tuning in today to the Town Watch. We'll see you next time.